Hey everybody, Paul the Sound Guy, product specialist for sure, and on today's episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to talk about antenna placement for your wireless system. Let's get to it. Okay, so you've got your antenna system set up. Now you've got to deal with your antennas. What type of antenna are you going to use? Is it going to be rack mounted or remote mounted? What's the cable length? Let's talk about that. There are a few types of antennas. The most common is the quarter or half wave antennas that come with most wireless systems. These are omnidirectional antennas that give you the largest coverage area and are generally good for at least 100 feet of distance. It's important to note that these are only omnidirectional on the horizontal plane. The top of the antenna, which some people think you should point at the source, is actually a null point and rejects the signal. For best pickup, you should place these antennas at a 90 degree angle to each other to maximize the pickup of the RF signal. Directional antennas have a more cardioid type pattern picking up signal in front and rejecting signal from the rear. These antennas are better for longer distances over 100 feet, for more targeted coverage areas, and increased rejection of interference sources. These can be paddle antennas like the PA805, UA874, helical antennas like the HA8089, which have an even tighter pickup pattern, or the wall-mounted UA864. If you need to remote mount an antenna and have longer cable runs, then a UA874 active antenna can be better as it provides boost for the RF signal that's lost over those long cable runs. If you're going to use the quarter wave or half wave antennas mounted on a rack, it's important to angle these antennas at a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle to each other. The metal surface of the rack and equipment can disrupt the pickup pattern of the antenna if it's placed vertically or parallel to these surfaces. You also want to have a clear line of sight to your source, so you want the antennas to be up high enough over the audience. If that's not possible with a rack mount antenna, you should look at remote mounting the antennas to achieve this clear line of sight. Here are a few key recommendations that we have for antenna spacing and placement. You want at least 10 feet of distance between your antenna and the source, whether that's a microphone or an in-ear monitoring system, being too close can overload the receiver and cause dropouts. You want the antennas to be spaced at least a quarter wavelength or four inches or up to 16 inches apart about the width of a rack for the best diversity of your microphone system. If you have the in-ear monitoring transmitting antenna and the microphone receiving antennas in the same area, then use a directional antenna for your in-ears placed a few feet or so in front of the receiving antennas to avoid interference. If you're not sure what you need to make these setups happen, you can use our wireless accessory wizard on Sure.com to choose different antenna types and cable links to see what you need to make your system work optimally. That's it for antenna placement. I hope you learned something new and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>